In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clone your voice with AI. Whether you wanna automate your videos or troll friends, this video has everything you need to make a voice that sounds exactly like you. And what better proof could I use than the intro to this very video? Wait, you thought that was my real voice? Ha ha ha, get fooled, dumbass. Well, yeah, I know that sounds like me, and that just goes to show how good voice cloning has gotten. As you can see, this intro was completely generated with my AI voice clone. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to clone your own voice in Eleven Labs, or realistically, how to clone literally anyone's voice that you want. So the first step is to go to the first link in the description and create an account with Eleven Labs. It's completely free to start, so if you click that link, you can make an account for free right now. Personally, I just sign in with Google because I find that's what's quickest and easiest for me. So just go ahead and sign in with your Google account. From here, you'll notice a bunch of different tabs on the top left over here. And first of all, you're welcome to try any of these for yourself and just see how everything works by just trial and error. One of the first things you might want to try just to make sure you familiarize yourself with the tool is trying their text to speech tool, which means that I can type anything right here, then choose the voice that you want to narrate it in. I might want to choose Rachel. You got to be careful if you don't know where you're going because you might not get there. And then just generate speech. And you'll see she says, which means that I can type anything right here. Pretty cool, right? But I assume you don't want one of these default voices like Rachel, Daniel, or Liam. I assume you want to actually make a clone of your voice or someone else's voice and use that in your video. Well, here's how you create your own voice. So you're going to want to click on the voices tab here on the top left and click add new voice. Now you'll see here there's a bunch of different options and which one you pick really depends on what resources you already have. So let me explain. So the first one, voice design, designing an entirely new voice entirely from a text prompt. Yes, you can do this, but this won't really be able to replicate what your voice or anyone else's voice sounds like just by telling it what it should sound like by text. So this probably isn't really practical for most people. Now the next option is instant voice clone. Now the reason this is good is because you can clone your voice with pretty much just a few minutes of actual audio that you have, and it will take that, train a model off of it, and then train a clone of your voice based on only only a couple minutes of actual recording that you submitted. So most people will be able to do this without a professional setup and do it pretty quickly. Now, if this is all you have access to, I would still do it, but you'll see that it is nowhere near as good as professional voice clone. But the thing with professional voice clone is that you need at least 30 minutes of very clean audio. And we'll go through exactly what you need for each of these in a second and how I actually created my voice with it and how good the voice actually sounds. So if you just wanna try it, you can start by subscribing to the starter plan, which you can do for literally $1 for your first entire month. But if you know you want something that actually sounds professional and is a real replica of what your voice genuinely sounds like, then I would really recommend then I would really make then I would really recommend getting the creator plan, which is only $11 for the first month. Again, we're gonna go through this and you'll see that the difference between instant voice clone and professional voice clone is really, really big. So let's buy the plan and see how it's actually done. Okay, so you can now see that when I click add new voice, I have a couple different options. First is the instant voice clone that I can clone my voice with only a few minutes of audio. So when I click on this, it's gonna ask me for a name of the audio. I'll say Bennett instant voice. Then it's gonna ask me to drag and drop a couple audio or video files. and. Really Really, they say you only need to provide up to around five minutes of talking and then you can describe what your voice is supposed to sound like so it understands so what we can do here is open sound recorder on windows and then just record ourselves speaking so i would literally just go to chat gpt and say give me a five minute script to read and press enter and it'll just give you something random that you can talk about and then you can go ahead and just record you speaking the script and then stop the recording when you've hit a, at least a couple minutes of audio now the key here is to make sure that you're actually speaking how you you would speak because if you speak in a way that doesn't really sound like you it's really not going to come out good when you train the ai model off of it because it's going to speak like how you were speaking so make sure you have a nice crispy audio of you talking how you would actually speak or how you'd actually want your audio to sound when you make your audios using text to speech so i'm going to record mine and we'll be right back so boom, once you record it, you'll have something called 11 Labs Recording. You can click Show in Folder, and it'll bring up all of your recordings, including the 11 Labs Recording that you just made. And then you can just drag that recording in right here. You can click Remove Background Noise if you had any. I didn't actually have any, so I'm not going to. And then you just need to describe the voice. So for me, I'm gonna say a young American male who speaks with enthusiasm, because I am super enthusiastic when I make YouTube videos.
From there, just click, I confirm that I have all necessary rights, which you should, if it's your own voice, and then just click add voice. Now here we have Bennett instant voice, which we can click use on and then type whatever we want to type and see if it sounds like me. So let's compare. Instead of trying to type something myself, I'll just click, let's narrate an ad. Are you ready to revolutionize your mornings? This is bad. And then again, make sure we do it in Bennett instant voice right here. And then once we have this, I'm going to click generate speech. Here we go. Let's see how it sounds. Are you ready to revolutionize your mornings? Wake up to the Aroma Brew coffee maker where every cup is a perfect symphony of taste. Aroma Brew, crafting your morning sip by sip. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Trained off a couple minutes of me talking and that does sound like me pretty much. But I think my instant voice clone has one more thing to say. But we can make it even better. So let's take a look at how much it will improve when we use professional voice. I mean, my instant clone voice is right. It's pretty good, but we can improve it a lot by using professional voice. So let's look at how we can use the professional voice to make a really, really accurate sounding voice clone of you or of me. So once again, we'll head back to voices on the top right here. We'll click add a new voice. And now we're gonna click professional voice clone where we need at least 30 minutes of clean audio. It's gonna tell us how the voice cloning model is different. I don't really care because I don't need to know how that works but it's so professional that it takes around two to six hours to complete once we upload everything that it needs. So that's a rough estimate. And then it tells us we need some pretty professional stuff. So professional recording equipment, using a pop filter when recording like this one, being exactly two fists away from the microphone, having no noise in the background and all this other yapping stuff, we don't need to get into it, but basically you need it to be a pretty professional recording. So if you don't have this, honestly, probably don't even bother with this model, just do the instant voice clone. If you do have a lot of this, you can click, I confirm, I have all the necessary rights and then just click start. So I'm going to name this model Bennett professional voice just so I can differentiate. The language used in the sample is English. So all good there. Then we have to upload our audio files. So there's two ways that I recommend you do this. So the first way is if you upload content on any social media platform, you can just download all of that content as MP3s and then use it to train the audio. I'm going to do that because it's way easier than trying to produce two more hours of raw audio of me talking. So to do that, I'm just going to go to this YouTube to MP3 converter and find a couple videos here like this eight minute one copy in the link convert it to an mp3 and download it i'm going to save all these to a folder and then upload all of them to total at least like an hour of audio now if you don't have content here's what i recommend you do get in a studio get near your mic and call up a friend on the phone you're going to just talk to him and have a normal conversation but make sure you're only recording your microphone audio and that you're listening to him with headphones on you're then going to go through that conversation that you had and just cut out all the silences and from there you'll be left with around 30 minutes to one hour of you just talking. You can use this as audio to train the model off of. So either way you want to do it, totally up to you, but I'm just going to take all these videos that I had already recorded. I downloaded this MP3s and then just drag them into here for 11 labs to use to train the voice clone off of. It's way easier for me. And then again, in the description, I'm just going to say a young American male who speaks with enthusiasm. I might add something like perfect for YouTube videos. This way it knows I kind of want that Mr. B style where I'm talking to a camera. Anyway, get all of that set up. Click remove background noise if you have background noise in your audio samples. If you're doing it this professionally, you probably shouldn't. And then you can also fill out these labels. So accent American, we can do age 20, gender male. I mean, these three are pretty much the main things that characterize me and my voice. So after I've done all of this, I'm finally ready to click create professional voice. Then it's going to say uploading and it's going to take a while for my actual voice to be fully finished. Okay. And then before you finish, it's going to have you start this verification process. So you need to click start verification. It's going to give you something that you have to read out to confirm that you in fact have the same voice as the things you uploaded. So I'm just going to do it. Click start recording. The fact of having been born is a bad augur augury. Well, that's awkward. I don't know what that word means. Well, it didn't confirm me. Let's try again. Clenched fists are not open to receive blessings. So now it's going to verify and make sure that that voice is really in fact me. And it is. So my voice was successfully verified. All I have to do is click finish. And then you can see Bennett professional voice is here, but the voice doesn't have a sample to play. You might say, well, what's going on? Well, the thing is, it takes a really long time for all of these models to be fine tuned. So right here, we have 11 labs multilingual, 11 labs turbo, 11 labs turbo V2, 11 labs multilingual V2, which I'm going to click start fine tuning. And all of these are being scheduled. These will probably take multiple hours to complete. So I'm not going to be able to show you this right now. In fact, it's almost 1am. So I'm going to go to sleep, but I'll be here tomorrow to review how the professional voice actually came out in the morning. So I'll catch you then.
And good morning, everyone. So my professional voice is now ready to use. Let's go ahead and see if it actually sounds like me or not. Okay, so we'll go to text to speech. Under voices, we're gonna go to Bennett professional voice. Okay, so I'm gonna have it tell me a story and let's see how this sounds. In a quiet village where the sky brushes the fields in hues of gold, young Mia discovered a map leading to forgotten treasures. Little did she know her cat whiskers had a secret. He was the guardian of the map, tasked with guiding Mia to not only the treasure, but also to her destiny. That's really good. That sounds a lot like me. Anyways, so yeah, that's how you create a professional voice in Eleven Labs. It sounds pretty damn real, and if I had even better audio recordings to upload, I'm sure this would sound even better. So now you know how to clone your voice, or honestly, pretty much anyone's voice. I highly recommend you use this power wisely. If you want to use Eleven Labs, I'll leave it as the first link in the description. And normally I would do it, but I'll let my AI voice give the outro. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one and peace.